today we're talking about the skeletons in my closet. No, I'm talking about the skeleton that holds up your building. And who's responsible for that? None other than the structural engineer. Now remember, I'm always a stickler on licenses. That's a PE, professional engineer. They got schooling, they got tests, and they licensed by the state. So I'm talking about the structural, that one who's responsible. It's not all mathematics. They actually got to take our building from below the ground and get that bad boy up. Episode number four, the structural engineer. All right, so what is the structural engineer's responsibility, right? They are, I keep saying it, the structural system of the building, but what does that really mean? We got columns, we got beams, we got slabs, we got outside walls and interior walls. Everything that holds that building up and transfers the load above grade back into the ground without it settling differentially, which we'll get into. All right, so why does that matter? Why are we talking about the load above grade and then transferring that into the ground? And that's because the earth below, which we, t we talked about before with our borings and test pits, is irregular. It's got different pockets of different things that are occurring. Maybe it's got clay over here. It's got rock over there, right? But what could happen if it's got different clay? It's got different sand. It's got different fill. What does that really mean? That means that the bearing capacity, its ability to bear the weight of above grade changes and it's different, right? And you want a uniform slab. Why? If one cracks, you got some problems. Think Leaning Tower of Pisa, right? Which is called uneven settlement. So we don't want cracking, we don't want leaning, and we certainly don't want any type of structural failure. So the structural engineer's job is to make sure that the building settles evenly, transferring the loads back and forth throughout that asset down to the actual footings and that it was within tolerance that it can accept that limit and your building is flat, level, and everybody's happy.